My bed is nearly as messy as my YouTube channel. Hi guys, it's Talisha. Welcome back to my channel and I don't know if I like that intro or not. You know, we're just going to roll with it. Hi guys, it's Talisha and today I am doing... I don't even need to say, honestly. Every video I post is a tackle. Like, I might as well just turn my channel into like tackles and nothing else and a vlog vlogs and tackle that's my channel hi I know I say this every time but I swear this one will be my last one you guys never complain that I have tackles though they're always like more tackles I love your tackles so I mean you welcome you're welcome for spending all my money <laughs> no nah, but one of these things I actually needed and I've been planning on getting for a while I literally have like three things but they're quite big so I am just gonna start off with the thing I got sent from one of you guys. So one of you guys were nice enough to send me some of your products. With what they sent me, which I'll show you soon, they also sent me a note. I'm not going to read you the note, but I will give you the, her Instagram. Her name is Heidi, by the way. Her business Instagram is ridersreigns underscore dot. X. She's on the screen right now if you want to set it up on Instagram. And her personal Instagram is x dot cheeky underscore ponies dot x, which is again on the screen right now. She opened up this business and asked me if I wanted to be a sponsor and I looked at her Instagram account and I thought yeah of course I'd love to promote your products, they're great, I can see that you put in hard work. So she was nice enough to send me two products. The first thing she sent me were a pair of reins and as you guys know Jeff and I's colours are purple um, and yellow so she sent me some purple, yellow and white reins which are super nice and I can't wait to use these. I put off using these until I made this video, which was hard because I really wanted to use them straight away because they're just so nice. And I was looking at them, they're made really well. Like I was looking at how she's attached them to everything and like they're very, it's a very good way of doing it. Uh, of course I'm gonna test these out and I will do a review on these once I've used them enough so I can give you guys an honest review and what I honestly think of them. Because I'm not gonna lie to you guys. So, but overall looking at them, they are super nice and you know, just look at the plating, it's so nice. And it's a really, and it's made out of, out of paracord, so it's really, really comfy to hold. You're not gonna get rubs or blisters on your hands. And yeah, so I'm gonna make some videos of me using these, and I'll again do a photo shoot when I have the time and post photos of me using them on Instagram. As well as that, she also sent me a matching lead rope, which I'm so excited to use. And again, it's paracord. And then the end is tied with this really cute little knot. So yeah, I'm going to be using this one a lot because I really like the flat lead rope tapes better actually. Like, they tie up better too. They stay a lot better than the round ones do. So yeah, I'm probably going to be using this heaps. Probably at shows and stuff. Thank you so much Heidi, or aka Riders Reigns, underscore dot, <laughs> for these. I am so excited to use these. It's, oh, so excited. Now, the next thing I got has been needed for quite a while. And um, it is a cross country vest. I've been looking for cross country vests for quite a while and deciding on which brand I wanted to get. And I, they're obviously not cheap, so I kind of had put it off for quite a while because I wasn't doing much eventing. And when I were, was doing it, I was borrowing a vest from my friend. Um, however, that obviously isn't the best thing to do then. As well as that, when we moved to property, I lucky enough to be able to ride down the road to an equestrian center which has a huge cross country course so because I've been doing cross country a heap more than I previously had been it's something I really needed to get because now I'm doing cross country like a couple times a week it's something I really needed to get so I looked around for a while done a lot of research and I ended up getting the Viper one so yeah the Viper one is like the kind of top of the line cross country vest and they are very pricey because they're the, kind of, they're the best one. You know, you don't really get better than the Viper. So it did cost me, that's awkward, I don't have the receipt, but I'm pretty sure it cost about $350. So they're not a cheap one, but you know, when it comes to something that's like protecting you and saving your life. The reason you're paying a lot more is because they're more protective. So yeah. So I got mine in size small. I have ridden in this once. I did cross country in it and it was really comfortable. I'm quite happy with this. At first when I put it on I just felt like I had a big shell on me which of course what it's going to feel like because it's very thick 
and um, you know, stiff. However, once I kind of got used to it, it felt a heap better and I forgot I was wearing it. So yeah, I'm really happy that I got this one. It's a really good one. Now the last thing I got, I am super excited about, so yes. Now I'm never good with pronouncing European names, so I'm gonna try my best, just leave me alone. <laughs> I am very happy that I got my first pair of tall boots and it is the Burgini, Burgini, I don't know, I think it's the Burgini um, and they're a really nice European brand, yes they are the Burgini tall boots. I've been wanting tall boots for so long but I could never really bring myself to buying a pair but I was in the store and they were normally $220 down to $180 so an amazing price I had to get them now I have ridden in these quite a lot so you're gonna um, have to ignore the dirt on them I did give them a little bit of a wipe down the other day but then I rode them again so I'm trying to see which ones are not as dirty they're both pretty dirty because I was like yeah we're gonna go ride through water Jeff but anyway this is what they look like I got the red trim ones and the reason I got my red trim ones are because if you guys have seen my spooks show show coat it is got the red trim along it so when I'm showing they look super nice with that and yeah I've ridden in these a lot when I first got them I might do a review on these because I've got quite a lot to say about them so this is what they look like again excuse the eggs ignore the dirt but they have the nice lace up at the front which I love that kind of look then they have the B for Brigini on the side the zipper at the back <laughs> and this little button thing, whatever you want to call it. They have this little spur holder at the bottom, which I really like, right? where you rest your spurs on there, which is super handy. My spurs don't move at all. I had a lot of problems with using my chaps and my paddock boots. My spurs just wouldn't stay in place. This, these are really good. So that is everything in my tack call. As I said, it was quite a short one. I only had three items, but that's because they were pretty big items. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys tomorrow for my vlog. Bye.